Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Mia and Jenny are sitting on the picnic tables and it looks like they're pretty busy discussing something. Hmm, I wonder what they're talking about. Shall we check it out? Oh, cool. They're working on a math problem. Jenny says that four hundredths is smaller than four thousandths because four hundred is smaller than four thousand. Mia thinks that Jenny is wrong. She thinks that four hundredths is actually greater than four thousandths. Well, let's help them find out which decimal is smaller. We can begin by looking at the numbers in decimal form. When we line up the numbers by the decimal points, we can see that four thousandths has one more zero to the right of the decimal point. And here is a mighty hint. When looking at decimals, the number to the right of the decimal point, or the more zeros it has as place value holders, the smaller the decimal. It's like coins. Is 40 cents more than 4 cents? It sure is. And how do we write 40 cents and 4 cents as decimals? Like this. 0.4 for 40 cents and 0.04 for 4 cents. That's right. When the 4 is in the hundredths place, it has a smaller place value than when it's in the tenths place. And this means that if a 4 is in the thousandths place, it's even smaller than it would be in the hundredths place. The more pieces a whole is broken up into, the smaller the pieces. So Mia is right. Four hundredths is actually greater than four thousandths. Ooh, great job helping Mia and Jenny. Now let's practice comparing and ordering more decimals. Problem one. Compare 32 thousandths to 0 0.04. We can start by translating 32 thousandths into decimal form. Since we're using the place value of thousandths in the name, the last digit, the two, needs to be in the thousandths place. Ah, there we go. 0 0.032. And now we can look at the place values starting with the tenths. Now both numbers have a zero, so moving on to the hundredths, four is greater than three. And this means that 32 thousandths is less than four hundredths. And let's write that out with the symbols. Fantastic work. Ooh, and here I have another mighty clue for you. We can add zeros as placeholders to the end of numbers on the right of the decimal without changing the value of the decimal. And that means we could add a zero to 0 0.04 to make 0 0.40 and now compare 32 hundredths to 40 hundredths to get the same answer. 0 0.032 is less than 0 0.040. Neat. All right, moving on to the next problem. Which of the following numbers will make the comparison true? Well, we can read this as what number is greater than 157 thousandths. All right, let's get to work. And we can line up all of the numbers vertically in a place value chart and compare them, starting with the tenths. Okay, we're looking for any number that has a tenth value greater than one. And so we can definitely cross out the number with a zero in the tenths place. All right, the nine hundredths. Cross that out. Now these two numbers with a one in the tenths place may or may not be greater than 157 thousandths. This last number has a five in the tenths place. And since five is greater than one, it is greater than 157 thousandths, so let's circle it. And now let's get back and take a closer look at these two numbers that have a 1 in the tenths place. Hmm, both numbers have a 5 in the hundredths place too, just like 157 thousandths. So we need to move another place value over to the thousandths. Now this number has a 2 in the thousandths place. And 2 is not greater than 7, so we can cross that out. And this next number has a 9 in the thousandths place. And 9 is greater than 7, so 0 0.159 is greater than 0 0.157. Hey, great work! We found two numbers that would give us a true statement. Ooh, cool! Get your favorite colored pencil out, it's shading time! Okay, shade the numbers on the number line that are less than 51 thousandths. All right. First, let's find out where 51 thousandths is on the number line. Now, as a decimal, 51 thousandths has 1 in the thousandths place, 5 in the hundreds place, and 0 in the tens place. 
and it looks like 0.051. So it must be between five hundredths and six hundredths, and we know that because we can add a zero placeholder at the end of the numbers, and five hundredths is the same as fifty thousandths. Six hundredths is the same as sixty thousandths. Looking back at the number line, in between fifty thousandths and sixty thousandths, our number fifty one thousandths is one tick mark to the right of fifty thousandths. Perfect. And now to determine where we should shade, since we want numbers that are less than fifty one thousandths, we can find numbers with a smaller hundredths value. And since four is less than five, numbers that are less than fifty one thousandths are to the left of the dot. And here's another mighty hint for you: on number lines, as you go to the right, values get larger, and moving to the left, values get smaller. And now it's time to shade in the number line, and that is a real work of art. Superb work today, comparing and ordering decimals. You even solved some math problems with decimals that had thousandths places, and I had to say the word thousandths millions of times. And don't forget the mighty hints I showed you. Keep practicing, and I'll see you in the next video lesson.